hopefully we can get a good one. Let's get like a I-7 or something. That's an iRobot. What do you know? It's 675. <laughs> but it has a charger and it's complete, so I'm fine with it. Another mystery. Sort of shark. Got a shark ion. These are pretty cheap, but maybe a hundred bucks if I'm lucky. Probably more like sixty. Probably get about a hundred bucks if it's in there and working. in decent condition. It's got the charger and all the all the stuff you need. So not too bad. Happy with the hundred dollar robot. We need to get some uh we need to get some I sevens and stuff. A good box. Hopefully it's in there. Yeah, a couple of these on the previous pallet, but they didn't come in the original box. There's water in there. That's not a good sign. Hey, come on, people. The entire jug is full. Unbelievable. It's empty. It's not hard. And it's missing the damn charger. Freaking crooks. Yeah, the charger's missing. Awesome. Way to be honest, people. So even though it's missing the uh, charger, it's still probably worth close to $200. I do have a chargers inside, so I'll be able to test it, which is good. Set it out like this so it can dry off. It brought back the cold in the winter time, probably. <laughs> Missing the top. Why? That's this, though. And the charger, so that's good, I guess. Six seventy-five. So many freaking six seventy-fives. So this one's heavy. Feels like it's gonna have everything, but then one of them feels light. This one is good. Put a bunch of tape over the sensors and stuff. Who knows what people do? Plus one gets. This one gets the plus D. This one's really light. This one may not even have the robot in there. Huh. What do you know? There's one. Unbelievable. Hopefully there's not too many others. It's really weird. 
some on this pallet have it, some are missing. Oh, just the robot, that's it. So, set that aside. Yeah, it doesn't even say what it is, but my hopes is must be an i7 or S9. That'd be amazing. Or it's probably gonna be a Shark IQ or one of those three, I bet. I bet you it's one with a self emptying bend though, because of the size. Got this one before. This is like a massive Samsung. I've never seen <laughs> this thing is humongous. You guys ever seen this one? I sure haven't. It's in pretty good condition too. I gotta look this up because I have no freaking clue. Test this guy out and see if I can get it working. Definitely a big robot. Ecovax N79. I'll check it later. These are kind of cheaper ones, and I doubt you really want to see me open these. And I like this and the next box. So here's another M6. Let's see if this guy emptied the water tank before. I mean, to me, that's just common sense. All right, good. It's got the charger. Got the water tank. That's it. Pretty much empty. And then got some pads on there too. Good. Good. This is what I want to see. The charger is probably quite a quite a bit of money by itself. So glad to have that. That's a good two fifty to three hundred bucks if it works. Now right, here's a nice. This one's definitely more expensive. It's a nine sixty. Hopefully, it's got everything in there. Uh, why are you taking the top off? Got the power cord, the charger. Yeah, they took the top. Like, come on, people. It probably still works because there's the buttons. But at least it has that stuff, so that's good. I did look up tops on eBay, and the 960 one sold for $45. So I guess someone's just popping them off and getting a quick buck off of it. But at least that one's, you know, mostly there. Let's hope it's in there. We have an i7 Plus. Yay! Ooh, and it looks like it's actually in there. Hallelujah. And it's actually complete. Wow. Surprised. Surprised and happy. Cord and everything. Good. Very good. Makes me happy. I just sold one on eBay for, I think I got $4.79. So that's a great, great find if it works. 
most likely will. These Roombas are made very well. Set this one close to the door so I can bring it inside. There's a box that's this long. That one has to be one of the self emptying bin. Why would they send such a big box for just a normal robot? Oh, good. A Nito D7. These are the mystery boxes I want to see. Awesome. Just sold one on online for about 300. Sweet. Oh, nice. Another good mystery box. This thing's filthy, but that's quite okay. Has the charger. The dock. <laughs> Half a... And the power cord, good. Set this one over. Over there, so three of these, that's awesome. Work IQ. This one I can tell is in there, and the box is actually in good shape. So that's good, these are great to get. bottom's definitely in there because I can feel it by the weight so that's good I'll take these all day especially if they're in the box like this with good condition better believe it awesome I stack one two that's four and once again I can tell by the weight that it's got both pieces in there so that's good Can't complain about that, even though the boxes are smashed, but that's okay. All right, we still got, let's see, probably about 12 to 15 more, and half of them are just mystery boxes. Yeah, super dirty. That's an old school barrier thing. What model is this one? Six fifty. This one's probably pretty old. Extremely dirty. Mystery. Windsor. No clue what that is. That's probably just a cheap, cheap brand. No, it's a D bot. So got a D bot with the remote and a note. Just goes in circles. Oh, thanks. So another boring D bot. Another cheap D bot. This one's DC3G. That's there, but missed on the dock, so not the end of the world. Okay, that's weird. This thing's light. This thing's extremely light. I was thinking this was going to be a 
self-emptying robot or something. Way too light for that. It feels like it's just a single robot. Okay, so it's a 960. People are so weird. Huh. How would you return that and that? Giant box for that. Do you guys think it's possible they did that just to take up space on the pallet to make it look bigger and they get more money? Probably. I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt it. But regardless, I'm happy it's a 960. And yeah, I'll take that over the 675 any day. That's an old school one. Oh, there's the battery. It's like a, it's a knockoff battery thing. So no, there's just a cheap out. Shark IQ again. That actually looks complete. Good. Got the top and bottom to the cleaner. Good. Another Shark IQ. Nice. It's like five. Let's see what's in here. Oh look, the Roomba's 675. Surprise, surprise. But it has the dock at least. There's still about five more robots on there that I'll show you separately. Another e bot but with the LiDAR. It could be up to 100 bucks if it works. d -Bot Osmo. You have to have the Osmo before, and it was a good robot. Missing the charger. Surprise. Looks like it's in great condition. It's never even been used. Things completely clean inside. That's good. Pretty sure the Osmo series goes for a couple hundred. Last three. And then four more of those, which I would assume you guys are tired of seeing because I'm tired of going through them. Oh, where am I going? Hopefully these have some good ones in them. We got a Reebok uniform. That's going to be nice, right? We got a nice pair of shoes. Probably worth about 20. Just kidding. Boxes. Cramp. Just a famous Roomba 675. My favorite robot in the world. Alright, this one's pretty much open to And what do you think it is? Another 675, but it has everything with it, so put it on the dock. So that's fine.
And lastly, a Roomba 675. Holy cow. Absolutely shocked. All right, well, other than the four Roombas that's left, that is it for that pallet. Definitely not as good as before, but uh, not bad though. We got three Bravo Jets, an i7, like five, maybe six Shark IQs. Now you see why I made all those negative videos for the Shark IQ. I wouldn't have gotten six of those back if they were any good. I mean, they're not they're not garbage, but definitely not worth a five hundred dollar price tag. So. Yeah, that is it for that pallet. Unfortunately, that third pallet is not coming to me. And I'm still unsure if I'm going to buy again from that warehouse, which seems to be the only warehouse with the robots. So I'll keep an eye out. And if it goes for cheap enough, I might order another one. Because the actual robot pallets themselves weren't that bad, except for the one where they stole all the parts out. But the other pallets from there were insane trash so that's it for this video i'll probably put it into two or three parts do me a favor like and subscribe helps me out a lot and you guys all have an awesome day see ya